All right, so here we have preliminary forensic analysis of the Xbox One, um, where we wanted to see what we could find from an Xbox forensically, if needed for an investigation. Um, so basically what we did was we set the hard drive back to factory settings and imaged it, put it back in the Xbox, ran some scenarios, downloaded some games and apps, imaged it again, um, and then did some network analysis. We then analyzed all this data, um, we found that it was mostly encrypted, uh, but we were able to put together a timeline, um, a pattern of use, things of that nature, so it would be useful for our, uh, an investigation. We also found two new file types, an XVD file and an XVI file, which need to be looked at closer. So our research was on the dangers of mobile banking applications, and what we did was we came up with an index that rated your banking application based on the permissions. We gave it a weighted total based on dangerous permissions and normal permissions. And then the average gives us our ADI, our index, and it tells you on a scale of one to five how dangerous your banking application is. And one of the findings that we have is over here we find that these uh, permissions are found mostly in malicious banking app malicious applications. So if you see any of these permissions in your banking application, you want to think twice about downloading it because it could be dangerous. My project is network forensic analysis of Android chatting applications. Uh, it's basically it's like uh, we did analysis for uh, eight applications or a chatting application to see uh, if the data is, uh, is the data that we are seeing is encrypted. So basically to do that, uh, we are using an rooted Android smart chart. So we are using Galaxy S1 and we use some application inside the phone to capture the network uh, traffic or the data buckets. So for that we did like install some application on our uh, smartphone and we capture the, net, uh, the, the network traffic that goes uh, between like two phones or, or uh, during the, uh, any conversation on uh, any of these uh, applications. So we chose like eight applications regarding of their popularity on the market. Our methodology was basically like to install the application inside the smartphone. Then we uh, like uh, we execute our scenario and we capture the data packets. So after that, we do, we do analysis on uh, like uh, some of the some of the network analysis software on the computer. So uh, after that, we could find some interesting results. So like for these eight applications, uh, five of them were secure, and three of them have like uh, some vulnerabilities. And this is like uh, like our main main uh, goal of this research, like to determine. Uh, what uh, application is secure and what not. My work is creating an app. Actually, it's a tool for helping the people who is working the, on detecting Android applications. So I create a tool for investigators. What, I, what they are doing is they're trying to track the evidence by checking the source code of the application. So um, I what I do is I highlight the suspicious part and let them to see it well. Um, so in Android system, each each system calls. Um, how to say? Um, in Android system, they have a lot of permissions. E each permission is a guard for certain behavior or certain uh, service in Android system. So by extracting the code, I by, by checking the code, I extract the permissions out which means this application has a per, some potential behaviors. I learn out which part of this permission in this cer certain application is malicious. So I highlight it in this uh, output and the investigator can check the output there and see how is the, the code related certain malicious behavior. That is uh, basically what I'm doing here. Uh, if you want to see the output for detect uh, applications, it's pretty good. So overall accuracy is 94 percentage. So which means 
we can detect malware in a good accuracy. Uh, we did forensic hard drive analysis on Windows 8. Um, basically, we wanted to test the um, two different methods that Microsoft provides you to clean off your hard drive. The first method is the quick method, um, which is about two minutes long. Um, it does a good job of hiding your data, but when we analyze the hard drive using these three materials, FTK Imager, Autopsy, and Scalpel, we realized that we were able to recover all the data. Um, so it's not necessarily something you want to use if you want to sell uh, your computer to a stranger, let's say, um, because if they wanted to, they can recover all your data that you had on the computer, even though you thought you erased it. The second method is the thorough wipe. When we tested that, we realized that took a lot longer. Um, it was overnight. To do the whole hard drive was probably around seven or eight hours. Um, but when we looked actually into the hard drive with autopsy and scalpel uh, after we created the disk image, we realized that it's a lot tougher to recover data with that method. It actually writes zeros all across the hard drive. So it does a pretty good job of cleaning it off. Now with a lot more sophisticated software, there's no telling if you're able to recover some of the data, but with what we worked with, we weren't able to get anything back. So uh, the, the conclusions we were able to draw was um, the thorough wipe was a lot more effective uh, in getting rid of, of your data. Um, so yeah, unhcfrag.com is our website. You can check it out. Take a bite out of time. <laughs>